never before have the lives of so many changed so much, so quickly, as when the engines came to life for the very first time with a roar that echoed over continents. In the soot and ash covering the streets, the people planted seeds of revolution. Visionaries of commerce and diplomacy electrified the world, and sparks of inspiration flew towards the sky. Up. Up over the smokestacks rose a promise of a grand tomorrow. Welcome back to more Learn to Play Victoria 3. The game where I have no clue what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, or how it's going. But I do know that we are Belgium. <laughs> yes, welcome back to more Economics 101. Um, I am streaming this after the first episode's gone out. Um, so far, people seem to think I'm doing okay from the YouTube comment section. So, one, hi YouTube comment section, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, Belgium still, still isn't dead. Rather than being the massal, ma ma massal? Rather than being the massive, um, waffle, uh, export magnet, uh, we are the massive wood magnet. Although, not quite anymore, actually. We, we've kind of toned that down. I mean, trade-wise, what are we trading? Still a fair bit of wood. Doing a bit of coal. We're exporting. We're exporting some coal. Um, with France. Yeah. Oh no. Are we? Yeah. We're exporting that. Trade routes with them. They've got that all set up. I think. Right. Yeah. We're trying to get more coal in. What I'm about to do is construct a load more, or expand a load more coal mines, um, so we can try and get our coal deficit sorted but i'm gonna wait until we've got a million in reserves to do it so let's speed this bad boy up we're obviously still going with an acting censorship to try and make the catholic church happy and then we are going to see if we can pass a health law change so let's go through dutch interest activated Liberia. Everyone's interested in Liberia, aren't they? Political lens. Oh, we still got our decrees going, haven't we? Canneries unlocked. Lovely. Not doing any of that right now. Um, going on. Catholic Church. We've got the encourage agricultural. Yeah, in Wallonia. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the through that is quite a good one to have. Uh, what about manufacturing? Service industry, manufacturing industries. Uh, we did the we did the infrastructure. We've got that here, haven't we? Infrastructure. What's going on here? Armed forces. Uh, so that we can see the two two groups. Two groups. The the two provinces, regions, whatever you want to call it. Two states. There we go. I'll get the word eventually. Two states that make up our glorious nation: Wallonia and Flanders. But maybe I should be doing some of these, but at the same time, kind of like, um, do we, do we have, um, what have we got here? We've got, we've got logging camp. We've got wheat farm. We could actually encourage agricultural industry. We can afford another hit to our authority. Let's do it. Slap it in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's see what that does to our, that actually might get our grain deficit gone. Maybe. See how things go. Monthly price report. What have we got going up? Clothes are increasing by 0.1. Wonderful. Chemical bleaching spreading. My oh my. My oh my. Oh yeah, there we go. Grain production. It is helping with that decree. We did a thing and it didn't backfire on us. We're learning. Services, we've got we got a load of services. All the services. We are now providing services cheaper, though. 
That's fine. As our population grows, I guess they'll gobble up services as things as things go. We'll get a lot of money selling clothes and furniture to England. Would we now? Uh, let's see. Furniture. British market, not so much. The most profitable force would be the Dutch market. Uh, but I don't, I don't want to start more trade and like manufacturing just yet because I'm still kind of getting my head around our core bits and pieces right now. But that is something we'll look into at some point. Oh, here we go. We've got the oh, right, it's right of assembly. Yeah, they're kicking off about that a little bit. And the whole oh, enact migration controls. Wouldn't mind. I mean, we could do it. Uh, you guys, you can guys can push about that. How much longer until the next checkpoint? 60 days. Full speed ahead while we build up some reserves again. And then I'm going to spend it all. Luca agreed to be a protector of uh, Austria there. Nice. We made the Catholics happy. Let's have a wee looky. They are plus six. Hazard. And we've got veteran consultation. So it helps our military technology cost. Hazard. And owners. Bol they're bolstering. Oh, yeah. We're bolstering them, aren't we? Uh, cost 200 weak authority. Um, do I do I need to keep? Oh, what the, we now have censorship. Huzzah for censorship! <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd be cheering that, eh? Well, so this is we'll radicalize the trade unions and radicalize the rural folk. We've upset the hobbits. We've upset the shirelings and the trade unions. Sounds about right. Intelligence are a little bit upset. Um, I marginalized groups, trade unions, and oh, yeah. raw folk are unhappy. Weird technological spread drops. Industrialists are pretty happy, so we still get bonuses from that, which is good. Free trade party. Close all that out. Um, yep. Yeah, let's change the health system. Let's see if we can go do that now. Little laws. Uh, health system. We go to charity hospitals, which will again improve our relationship with the Catholic Church, which is nice. We can't do that one because we need pharmaceuticals. Private health insurance, no. Charity hospitals. Let's whack that in there and see if we can get that through. Past. Uh, what market am I in? I am in the Belgian market. Yes, I can you use diplomacy to get into other markets? Uh, not a clue. Haven't really. I don't think the learn to play has taught, told me about um, diplomacy much so far. What's happening? What's going on? Our uh, country's institutions are growing out of bounds and we will eventually be overstretched until we are able to secure enough bureaucracy for all of them. Um, further institution growth will halt. Build more government administration. Oh, institutions. Here we go. Oh, no. But our bureaucracy is fine. It says we're minus through education. We're minus 109. But we're plus 14 here. We're going pharmaceuticals kind of lock Quinny. Yeah. And colonized Southern Africa. Yeah, we, did, we that would be a good one to go for. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we're actually currently researching right now. Oh, no. Um, advice is, is welcome. Joining custom market. Is that what you mean? Uh, it's that telling me I need... What, I need positive plus 36 bureaucracy and I only have positive plus 14 right now. I guess is what I would need to be able to go up to the next level. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you're saying diplomacy. Britain. Diplomacy. You're in a war with China. Oh my. Act no current active fronts. You can see their laws and everything else. That's quite cool. It's Victoria. She's taken over. Huzzah. All the trait buffs and bonuses. Be fruitful and multiply. Plus 2% birth rate. Lovely. Of course the Catholic Church endorses that. Got divine right as well because they're very, very happy. More authority produced. Um, have we got that one mil in the piggy bank? Not yet. You guys need additional convoys. Available 660. Quite 690. 
Six we died. Okay, so we need to upgrade our ports for that, don't we? All the monies. Right, we've got enough for the coal now. So, let's come in here, go to buildings. Um, it's not in here, it is over in Wallonia. Coal mines, upgrade the crap out of these. Go for five. Way to heck not. Uh, and then actually in Brussels, what I'm going to do is go to government administration. And I'm going to upgrade one of those as well to give us a bit more bureaucracy coming in. Ba -ba 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 -da. Urbanize Belgium completed. Winds of change. Flanders has come a long way since our attention was first brought to it. Uh, going from small houses and scattered farmlands to being on its way to become a booming metropolis. Wonderful. Finally, Flanders shines like never before. Heavily urbanized for two years, plus 25% loyalists from standard of living increases. Or oh, this is not the end. Um, plus 33% urban center building efficiency. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's the, the urban center gives us more services. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for loyalists, please. Loyalists, please. More loyalists. How is our yeah our reserves? Yeah, dropping like a rock, which is why we saved up a fair amount. Oh no, a politician died. Unfortunately, the game has not taught me to care about you at all so far. So goodbye. Get all my buildings built. We oh we are oh we just, we finished all the construction of the coal mines. It's just the government building now. There we go. There we go. And we're now back up again. Huzzah. Wunderbar. Lovely stuff. Right. Yeah, let that build up our reserves once more. Um, sound of living decreases to 40. Oh, no. Standard of living, or oh, middling, it's now mid, average is middling now. Huzzah, it's increased from lower strata. That's all. Whatever the bit before middling was. End up in direct conflict or war yet? Not yet, no, but we did see one between uh, France and Prussia. Um, they, Prussia took a bit of Frankfurt. Or part of the Prussian Hesse themselves away from Frankfurt. Right, so we now have a lot more coal mines. So, have we sorted out our coal deficit? No. Not yet. We've got to give it some time. Although it may well be because of the trade routes. Sucking it up straight away. That's the thing I don't necessarily get um, with when you just build up more and just everyone else goes, oh, we'll just take more of that. And it's like, well, actually, I was building that up so that I could supply my own nation a bit more efficiently kind of like how how can how can we say uh no these are both costing me so cancel those two so, i mean obviously it's generating us a nice bit of revenue through tariffs but it is taking all our coal lots of things are firing ah uh, this one Ah, uh, the tariff ones. Market policy, no priority. Right. Plus 30% on imports. That's plus 10% on exports. That will get me extra revenue from it. Will that also slow down the amount they take? Is that why you suggest it? Yeah, it's 30% on tariffs on imports. 10% um, on exports. Supposedly, it, it to help kind of control it a bit more. Okay, we'll try that in a second. We'll try that in a sec. Uh, first of all, labor movement unlocked. Plus one minimum expected standard of living from literacy. Plus three max uh, workplace safety office institution investment. Okay. A point, point of member, prominent members of the Catholic Church, outspoken supporters of the charity hospitals, and close allies of Lambert de Amalius, 
uh, have been exposed in a corruption scandal, having exchanged political favors for personal gifts. What is the chief end of man? Get rich? In what way? Dishonesty. Dishonesty if we can. Honesty if we must. So, such is the nature of politics. Okay. Minus 50% chance of it being enacted. It's only 25% chance right now. Throw them to the wolves. We must clean up this mess. Yeah, throw them to the wolves. Bloody cares. Right, and apparently, if we click on coal and we choose to put an extra tariff plus 10% protect domestic supply, makes sense, that will lower, potentially, the amount that we're trading. And therefore, might lower the amount gobbled up through our trade through France. Because they'll be like, oh god, it costs so much. Oh, that's that's not good. Yeah, domestic that makes sense. Protect domestic supply. Who just died? Oh, not Paul. I liked Paul. He was a good lad. Something about the railway just happened. It's not affected our domestic supply yet. Also, I probably should take a look at the coal mines. Uh, yeah, they're all, they're all going okay. Go for that, but then we need explosives. And I haven't really got my, well, everything else sorted yet. Another politician. Oh, no, it's still Paul. God damn it, Paul. Let me think more of you are dying. Yeah, we need some sulfur as well. I reckon we could probably import some sulfur. Um, can we import some sulfur, please? Uh, we can get some for the British market and the Austrian market. They're both rather profitable. Do that. Um, do we have enough convoys available, though? We knew we need to increase the number of convoys that we've got. We're at 660, so we're maxed out on that. So we need to increase our supply convoys from 660 to 800. I'm assuming we do that at our ports. Fishing wharf? No, port. Here we go. Each one gives us 600, so let's increase that and see what that does. Build one. Build me a port worthy of Mordor. They're looking to tear in Victor Tall. Haven't had a chance to take a look at it yet. This game have an end date. Yeah, so, well... I assume it, it's it's 1936, so it starts in 1836, and I believe it runs for 100 years. I don't know what it does at the end of that, and if it just goes, well, hey, you survived 100 years. Triage unlocked. Lovely. Rifling is spreading. Nice. Apparently, you can keep going after nice days. I would say normally, normally they tend to games like this tend to have like a. Do you want to continue? This steel mills. Oh, low productivity. Newly formed parties. Ah, the radical party has formed. Ah. Oh, wait, didn't we have them already? Oh, no, we had... Um, I will check politics in a minute. Um, Productivity is low. Because, yeah, we're making 2.1 because it's costing us so much because of iron. Iron and coal because we it's costing us a lot to import it and the price is up, so we need to just we need to get a lot more of that in than we can make more of a profit. Uh right, yeah, so iron production for that we're linked through well, we go back through our iron mines. We need tools, which we're out of balance with, and we need more coal. It's all about, it's like, the main thing right now I'm trying to sort out is coal. Build more, and then our trade just increases. So we could cancel our trade and have a surplus, but France is just taking it all. 
Empty the investment pool completed. I didn't realize I needed to do that, but okay. Right, we're going to look at uh, government, won't we? Radical party is the intelligentsia. Weren't they already what part of one? Were they the... Oh, no. Were they the Liberty Party before? And they've now gone radical. I think that was it, wasn't it? They were the Liberty Party. Rural folk wants to join the Radical Party. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's hip and trendy. I only put... I'd only put the tariff on UK coal. Ah. I thought I put it on our... On our no, I think I put it on... Coal... Yeah, no, we've got... It's, it's coal within our market. So that is protect domestic supplies. So that should be anything that goes out. Should be protected. Yeah. But I can't set priority because I'm not part of the market. Yeah, yeah. So we've set it on our one. But it's because... Well, they, they want so much of it because they are... Surprise, surprise. Got a deficit on it as well. So just started with what you're doing. Start with the USA. It's very overwhelming. That's why I decided to start small with one... Well, with one of the smallest nations I could find from the uh, recommended list of starting factions. Uh, starting nations. Just because I still have no idea and it's already overwhelming. But I've only got two states to manage. Well, they're more expensive. It's still profitable for France. You can only hope. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... um. more expensive but it is it's earning us quite a pretty penny in tariffs but i kind of wonder if it would be more beneficial to us if we could build up a load of um well no we can't stockpile any of it but would it be better to cancel that and nurture our own who needs trade in a game all about economies I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should try it out. Maybe we should try it out. Embargo them. We're saying words. I can just place an embargo on... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Blocks that target come from, uh, from exporting goods in a market belonging to country enforcing the embargo. Countries that are war trying to enter embargo. France will make up for that in the 21st century export nuclear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, it's an offensive act, so it's to upset them, isn't it? Yeah, we don't upset them. I am in trying to improve coal production. I just keep building more, and France just keeps taking. I guess if we if we made so much more that eventually France was full, <laughs> will they eventually stop taking more? On the trade route, select the domestic market icon. Where's this? You mean this one and then choose the tariff that's protect domestic supply. I just don't get what... The learning curve is off a cliff. <laughs> Climbing up Mount Doom here. It's a very satisfying mountain to climb, though. I just don't know if I'm doing it right. We can see the individual sell and buy orders per region. We can see all those that... have plenty to sell. If another... A uh, country establishes trade route with you. There is no way you can cancel it. Oh, oh, right. Sorry, yes, I can't cancel it because they've done it with me. So AI country can leech your resource away and tank your price at their leisure if you're a small country. So that's what an embargo is useful for. Right. I was think I was I was starting to think like, wouldn't you just cancel them? No, because they can establish routes with you. And you that's one I've established. I can't cancel that. It's very profitable for me, but I can't cancel that. So I would have to embargo France. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ah, oh, we're learning. 
We're learning, everyone. Every time I think I'm maybe understanding an element of it, I'm like, ah, <laughs> why? Like, if you guys have a suggestion, um, by all means, please do tell me. But literally go, Lionheart, first click here, then click this, then click that, then do this because this will do this. Because I just... Wait, don't we just all close our eyes and click buttons and hope for the best? Is that how you're not meant to play? <laughs> right, so the only way to get rid of that would be to embargo France. But they are a great power rank too. And what we're saying is... It would be a really, really bad idea to go embargo France. It would cost 200 influence. Generates plus 1% progress each day towards decreasing relations, resulting in a relations decrease every 100 days of no relations. <laughs> I can't actually confirm it. There are, there are no options. Why can't I embark? You stop taking my stuff. How do I stop you taking my stuff? There is no way, is there? They're just going to keep taking my... To what? I'm not sure I can quite cope with... Um, I mean, how many... Uh, how many... Uh... They have 260 battalions plus an extra 203 in conscript battalions they could pull up. What if in future they cancel the trade route? You could be left with a ton of cot. I could. Relation oh, relations need to be poor, do they? Ah. But then if I embargo them, they're definitely going to go to war with me, aren't they? Okay. Let's try... Well, I mean... Right, there's another thing we can do here. We can try and produce so much coal... That it meets France's demands. So how much coal do they need? They are in deficit of 542. Well, the world of capitalism. I'm getting shafted by France. <laughs> Sounds about right. We are... What are we... We're constructing that port. And we don't have enough in reserve. So let's just chill for a bit. Welcome to Lionheart Plays as Belgium and is France's bitch. Sounds about right. <sighs> Imagine being a small nation stripped of resort. Oh, wait. Ah. I'm learning a lot about the world today. I'm French. Well, right now I'm your bitch. So um, be gentle, please. We'll look at the rest of the map. Not that, not like I keep looking at it like like I would do in CK3, where I expect to see like large chunks of land changing. Not exactly, but it's fun to look. I wonder if uh, New South Wales will take all manage to take all of Australia. Natural resources have a limit. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Just thought, what if you buddy up with the UK and try and enter a defensive pact with them? Then you could worsen relations with France and embargo them, knowing the UK will back you up. So that's true. She doesn't quite have enough battalions potentially to take on France, though. But uh, you know what? Let's do that and let's... It's about time for a new Hundred Years War, right? Screw it. Let's do it. That's what we're going to try and do. Um, we are going to... Diplomatic actions. Can we do an alliance? With Great Britain. We can. Costs us 400 influence. Could mean the end of the playthrough. What a glorious end it would be. Progress each day. Because every 55 days. Nice. Let's do it. Alliance started. We could also bring an alliance with Austria. So do I immediately have an alliance with them? Like, is that how it works? Oh, no. What? Well, that's just rude. I've just been... I've just been dumped by Britain. Come on, we've got waffles to offer. And previously a lot of wood. 
Do I need to improve relations with them first and then try again? Would that work? Should have offered them more tea. Yeah, I've got to say, I thought, like, if we click on this and it goes, oh, they would not accept the proposal. They're just available for one. So I need to improve relations first. I can't improve relations with them. Son of a hua. Which attitude towards it is genial. Is it max already? Ah, uh, that's why. So I can't... Makes me sad. Hey, Britain. Living up in power, prestige. Okay. Well. That's just rude. Can we do a defensive pact? They would not accept the proposal. What if I owe an obligation? Yeah. No. I'll boost your money with a decree. I haven't. Which state can I conquer? <laughs> a lot of it in Spain. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that. Go to war with Holland. But uh, yeah, we'd probably bring in a lot of other people, so let's not do that. Leveling up your power is the way to go. Helps colonization. How do I level up my power? What's the best way, most effective, efficient way of doing more power? Take a treaty port. No. Um, increase your prestige. Not sure how it's done yet. High GDP and many well-equipped troops. So we should increase our army. So it's super duper effective, maybe. Okay, that seems like it's a long, a long play. Uh, decrees. Um, resource industry. Cannot set decree in Wallonia. Does not have the encourage. Oh, we've got to cancel agriculture. Okay, cancel agricultural. And put in resource industry because we've got a load of mines in there. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Right, we've got health taxes. With calls for some form of healthcare system, many are questioning where the money for setting up the new healthcare system will come from. Some are suggesting that simply taking it out of our tax funds, while others insist the government should find another way to cover the costs. Take it from our tax funds. Minus 1,700 income from tax. We get plus 20% enactment success chance. The government should cover the costs. Plus 30% government expenses, which would hit us here, right? Well, we can get by without it. Hit from the tax funds. Upsets the industrialists a little bit, but we get plus 20%. Let's go take from the tax funds. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, have we now got some more convoys? Available convoys that much. So we need to increase a port again. Get that done. What should we got in reserve? 642. Okay. Okie dokie. It improves supply network. Oh no, now it is up to scratch. It just took a little while to fully... 
Yeah, fully bring them all up. You know what? Let's just keep the upgrade happening anyway. So our remaining journal entry is to... Um, we've got path liberalism going through. Is to get that healthcare enacted. Oh, an election. Catholic party versus the radical party. Let's have a wee looky. Currently we got the Catholic party. We got the radical party in there as well. We actually, the rural folk want to join the radical party, which is fine. Although it's going to be a lot of different stuff going on right now. Oh, I guess we'll let them join and then kick them out. I don't know. Victoria, good game. I, I mean, I think I think that's, at this point, all I can say is I think it's a good game, but I definitely don't understand it all yet or much of it at all. But like, I'm enjoying the learning process. It's just taking a while. <laughs> Catholic Party have won the election. Free government reform. It reform it. So if we brought the rural folk in... That gives us 100% legitimacy. Surely that's a really good thing by having it super high. But then it very low chance, I would have thought, of getting much past. So much conflicting ideology. But I do like the idea of having 100% legitimacy. I, As you can tell, I can definitely don't understand the government system that well just yet. But they do want to join. I mean, if I kick the Radical Party out... Legitimacy goes down, but... Probably gives us a few more movements where we have better support. I'm going to just go for 100% right now and just see what happens. Way to heck not. I mean, I do, to be fair, I like that honest work trait, to be fair. I'll go with the fact that our GDP is growing. Which is good. Um, standard of living has actually just dropped down to impoverished. It was middling. Um, the average, rather. So you need to work on that a little bit. Although we've got we've got quite a good standard of living compared to those. Oh dear, Luxembourg, you are struggling. You're a protector, aren't you? You got a personal union. Expensive government goods. There's paper on our balance. Okay, so coal. Oh, what's happened here? Trade routes. What are we... We're importing more. We're managing to import more from Britain right now. God, it is worth so much in tariffs with France. I love it. Uh, but we are... That, that's actually... That's getting closer. We are... We've lost some grain. That through, again through... No, it's just pop. So we need... That's why they're upset. They need more food. Um, sell orders. Trade routes. Yeah, we need a bit more of that. Bit more coal and we should be okay. We now have charity hospitals. It went through. Huzzah. Minus 5% mortality. Wonderful. Isn't that lovely? Oh, what? Change the current health... We'll complete if Belgium does... Oh, does not have help. Yeah, no, it's, it's done. There we go. We're done. Oh, I was like, we just did that. <sighs> Passing an institutional law completed. New institution available. Sweet. So if we go here, institution. We now have healthcare and we can control bureau bureaucratic spending on this. But we can't increase that because we can't afford 37 bureaucracy from the investment. Because uh, we only have plus 34, so we need to increase that a bit more. If I am not completely mistook. Correct? Okie dokie. Right. Um, so, we, I mean, we could drop this down, which would not cost as much. It takes 50 weeks. 
that that would free up a bit of bureaucracy or we could just we could just get more bureaucracy oh bureaucracy we can upgrade the urban center no that's services we need to upgrade the government administration to generate more bureaucracy upgrade it more bureaucracy please who would have thought we'd ever be calling for more bureaucracy not i not i a farming boon huzzah Got sulf sulfurs leveled out. Good. A lot of liquor. Extra explosives in the market. Wood is good. Noise. Um. Oh, wine. We're losing money because we're still constructing. Eleven more weeks. Let's call movement expanded. A right of assembly. Good. Yeah, it ain't changing. Um, well, let's go to military then, if we can. <sighs> Ammunition. Plus 15 army power projections here. We want to increase our power, do we, for our prestige? Yeah, army power projection is a way to increase it. Okay. What other ways can we increase? How can we get more um, more garrisons and more army? Need to build barracks. Okay. Well, let's have a wee looky. Conscription center. Currently inactive. Oh no, no building it since such buildings inactive. Building a navy also helps. Okay. That's conscription. Yeah, it's only going to work when we conscript them. Um, barracks. We are five of five. How do we make that bigger? To plus five from national militia. Ah, uh, do we need to enact a, a law change then? For our army. Professional army. Plus 100 barracks max level. Yep. Can mobilize 15 battalions. Okay, let's enact this. Let's get that going. Assemble the Belgium army. Army of waffles. We are a small but mighty country of waffles. Nothing against the Dutch personally, but I would love to conquer you. Uh, we have an alliance with Denmark. Damn it. How many battalions can they muster? Not enough if we can muster more. The thing is, it's all about other nations getting involved, though, isn't it? Chemical bleaching unlocked. We are as Vicky 3 setting, so it starts in 1836. We are currently in 1849. Right, we've got enough bureaucracy, I think. Nope. Wait, why can't we increase it? level. Cannot increase your level of investment in this institution above its minimum level of one. Why? Do I need to build a building or something? Oh, they increase new technology, so I need to do some technological research, do I? New import route to steel. Do, 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 do. Woo. Much information, such wow. I need more bureaucracy, but I've got 108. Is that not enough?
maximum level is set to one right now. So what technology we need to look at for this? Plus one max institution investment. Psychiatry. No, pharmaceuticals. Plus one. There we go. I need to be researching that. Okay, once we're done with improved fertilizer, pharmaceuticals. Beautiful. Cool, that makes sense. That makes sense. We're enacting professional army as well. At the Belgium army reign supreme. I mean, we're doing okay, right? The, the the standard of living could be better. Yeah, we need more grain. That's like always more food. Coal, we've nearly sorted that out. I mean, I don't actually know how. It's just we're producing more or tr no, to our trade routes. Our trade route with Britain is actually we're Im able to import more. Has Britain got a... They must have an excess then of coal, surely. No, they've got a deficit, but they're, they're just pumping it out to us and we're able to gobble it up because we've set it up, I guess. So if I was able to, I wonder if I was able to spike coal a bit more. Let's get all that in there and see if we can turbocharge this. Wow, it got through with a 30% chance. Really? Damn. We now have a professional army. Sweet. Um, okay. Barracks. We can keep increasing you every time we increase it. I don't know how much more it's going to give us. Um, let's increase it by five and see what that does to us. It's going to tank our, tank our reserves right now. This is fine. Let's see how this goes. Maybe can't afford all that coal, but it's fine. We can we can afford to go into some credit. It's fine. Going into the reds, it's it's cool, right? So what are all the cool kids are doing? We are gonna need to have more uh more small arms and artillery though, good consumption. We're gonna need to invest in our arms industry. Each barracks is one battalion. Okay. Cool, cool. That instantly makes us quite a bit tougher than oh well. It gives us it gives us more battalions than those around us. And I'm just gonna go on a pure numbers game, which this game quite literally is a numbers game. Can that yield? Can that yield more powerful forces? Let's hope. <laughs> or restore national militia. Uh hell no. So they've got a chance for 2% every 180 days of pushing that through. That'd be quite annoying. But yeah, we were in credit. But that's fine. Our GDP continues to rise. Sand of living is middling on average now. Good. Middle strata is secure. That's nice. Good. Um, all games? How you doing? Back to military. 15 regulars. What do we what do we want more generals for? Yeah, wound dressing, we don't have access to the other things. You're going to go get an, uh, an economic so I can understand. I thought that's what we were getting by, by playing this game. I'm fully expecting to receive a economics degree through the post from Paradox when we complete this. Are you telling me that's not how this game works? Because I was really hoping for another degree.
Promote you to a mage general. What does that do? Plus five bureaucracy. Plus 20 reg... Oh, increases command limit. What is your current command limit? Command limit is 66. So that's fine. <laughs> You're 75. Ruddy heck. How old are you, mate? 64. But I understand how to play Victoria through on your resume. Yeah, you get hired. Prestige is rising. Do you reckon Britain wants to be... Uh, will accept my uh, alliance now? No. Belgium has research matrilineal... Well, m m m matrilineal? <laughs> Thinking of CK3. Uh, Belgium has researched multilateral alliances. At least one of these multilateral alliances is researched or number of alliances is less than one. Have they already got an alliance? Britain, have you got alliance? You do have an alliance with the USA. That's why. But Austria, I hear you're friendly and looking for um, a friend. You've arrived with Britain and Prussia. You have an embargo on Austria. They will not accept. Minus 100 from the base reluctance. What, are, what is our current level? We're at... They're, mi they're minus 122. And we have a total of 75. So yeah, it ain't happening. Why is that showing up as a potential option then if we can't even do it? Is it because I don't have good enough relations with them, I guess? Could be friendly with Prussia, though. Let's try and improve relations with Prussia. Because they, they could be rather useful. <laughs> Last line is the catch. Uh, why would they force an alliance with a weak nate? Enforce an alliance with a weak nation that won't be able to help them. That's true. Russia is ranked four. How do we how do we check that out? Oh, we're just on the I rank four. Yeah. So I need to be of similar rank. They're rank one. What's France? Two. Netherlands. Fifteen. So they are still stronger than me. We've got more battalions and diplomacy. They are allied to Denmark. Okay, it's fine. We've got to invest in big old Belgium becoming strong. They're 24, so what I could go after them, you're saying? Maybe. Okay, another barracks in there. No. Uh, that one, it might play Conquer State. I need to have an interest in the North Sea. Take Iceland. We believe these countries may join either side or remain neutral. Britain, Russia, and France. At the start of play, we will face these enemies. Denmark, Netherlands, Holstein, Schleswig, and the Homie. They join either side. See, that's not good if they join either side. So I need to become a major power, basically. This is the next quest. Become major power. Okay. 
we can do a an interest up here though oh and i'm already declaring interest in iberia screw that let's have an interest in the north sea because why not No, market access. market access is done via which one's that again do a decree on that can't we road maintenance we've already got it infrastructure son of a guan Uh, what buildings are part of that agriculture development? You just threw this one? Build more railways. Europe. Yep, that'll do it. Development. Produces more infrastructure. We don't have enough engines, though. Do you not actually have a place to produce more engines? Or are we just bring importing them? Also, motor industry is for it, won't it? Most plant. Oh, I built one of those earlier. Yes, not. We should have, let's build one here where we're going to be. Need steel. Our steel production probably ain't up to scratch yet. Near. Are we doing on coal? Oh, it's gone tits up again. It's okay. We've got all those coal mines going, and I'm assuming France is just gobbling it all up. Yeah, they are. Yeah. My prestige is rising. It's link credit, aren't we? Yeah. Pay that off. Get back play started. Okay. Nice legitimacy. Thank you. Yeah, we are nice and legitimate here, which is good. <laughs> We've got that going for us. Oh, we're trying to improve relations. Yeah. Improve relations each day. Increase relations to a maximum of plus 50. Nice. No national, uh, national militia, please. Professional army, please. That's what it's all about. Psychiatry unlocked. Nice. And we've got 13 weeks left of improved fertilizer. Come on. And then we're going pharmaceuticals. You can't queue it up, can you, in this? I'm good. Go play games. How are you? Is my chemical uh, plant product uh, chemical plant productive yet? Rifling unlocked. Wonderful. Uh, let's let's find out. Is my chemical plant productive yet? Um, no, <laughs> is the answer. No, is the answer. Um, because what's our major cost? What sulfur?
continue to build a munitions plant and put your army on skirmish infantry. We'll have like infinite grain. What to make this this productive? Or just in general? We'll get some more we'll get some more explosives from this. Uh it won't cost any fertilizer if we change that up. But it will consume more sulfur. If we change if we change that back to prioritize fertilizer production, then we uh we go okay. If I drop it to that, productivity goes up. And our weekly balance will increase. But we're not getting we're then not getting any improved fertilizer for chemical plants. Oh there we go. <laughs> we just got improved fertilizers. It now also consumes some iron. That will increase productivity. What if I then put that to There we go. I fixed it. <gasps> Profitable. You were saying? <laughs> no active research yet. Pharmaceuticals, please. That went well. It's like, uh, is that is that profitable for you yet? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, wait. Now it is. I'm not sure what I did there. Focus on explosives and export. And that's what we're doing now. Yeah. Can it... We're now getting... That's improved fertilizer with that one, isn't it? Uh, that one's less iron laborers, less fertilizer produced. But we get, oh yes, do, oh no. Nope. Oh, no, I broke it. It was working and now it's not. Stay on that then. Now it'll be fine again. What if we change it back to artificial ones and then see how that goes? Good improve fertilizers. More of that makes us massively productive. So with all that, we're now getting to what 12, 12, 12 explosives produced. We're going to need that for our army, probably. Or for the munitions industry. We got the pile of coins next explodes. If you're making them, they're not making you any money. You're consuming zero in your country at the moment. Right. Yeah. They're producing loads. So we could trade them. Yeah, because we've got sell, sell order going. Whereas with that, we are selling them. Support them for now. Or, 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 or. It's ammunition. Do we have an arms industry? I thought we did here. Arms industry? Any of this need artillery? The artillery? Explosives? Or a munitions plant? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Munitions! Munitions! Uh, arms industry, I am going to go from muskets to rifles. That actually produces less small arms, doesn't it? And reduces impact on weekly balance, yeah.
also consumes steel. Cannons is currently costing us minus 20 small arms plus 30 artillery. It's that one. Yeah, go leave it on cannons. Cannons are small arms. You can then set your army to use ammunition, which will make the whole production chain valuable. Um, so then if we go to military, we can see the line infantry is currently using small arms. Skirmish infantry is ammunition, not small arms. And increases army power projection quite substantially. So yeah, we need some munitions for that for skirmish infantry. Shrapnel artillery again once we have munitions. So yeah, let's see how that munitions comes up. Munitions, plant. We're still in credit, aren't we? Yeah, we should probably let things build back up a little bit after this. Standard of living is increased. Still need to probably sort out the grain for the... Uh, Thing. Oh, my productivity on my chemical plants. Yeah, because the explosives just sitting there. But we'll keep them for now. They'll go into munitions soon. We are also still employing people. But the most important thing is my chemical plant is more efficient than Mendel's chemical plant. Or at least it did it quicker. <laughs> By sheer damn luck. <laughs> uh, unproductive trade routes. Import trade engines. Okay, inactive, inactive, cancel all those. Railway produces a, a by order of 18, motion is just producing 14 right now. So we're slight deficit, that's fine. Mode industries. So I could expand you to get a bit more produced. Although just leave ugh. steel. Make steel more readily available. Doesn't cost us as much. More profit. We'll play that game. Your GDP is minuscule. GDP for ants. Hey, it's a happy GDP. It's a happy little G GDP. It's our little secret. Uh, we do have... Some vacancies, yes. Yeah, it's increasing. Yeah, it's increasing. Still, yeah. Still, 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 still. Still is another thing that we are struggling to get on top of. Steel mills, steel mills, and that's because the yeah, iron, coal, not so bad, yeah, coal and iron, just constant. Uh, let's see then if we can set some new import routes for both coal and iron. The French market, we can import some coal, the 37 amount from it, but let's do that. And uh, what about iron? British market, we can bring some in to quite a decent amount as well, actually. Yeah, leave that at that and see if that helps us out a smidge. You can Bezema process your steel, that's true. Um, Yeah, market access is lower here. 
Steam trains. How do we get that to improve further? Inf infrastructure, wasn't it? Yeah, trains. Which is what we're trying to do. Um, Besma process is... Plus 100 more in total, which will bring the price down of steel. It consumes more iron. Do it. Gonna probably have to subsidize you, aren't I? Import for steel. Oh, no, no. Wait. Stop subsidizing you. I think you're okay now. Yes. Noise. I find playing Victoria 3 is a game of pressing buttons until things go green. Munitions. Munitions. We need lead. Ah, yes. Do you have a little shortage of lead? But we do have the explosives, which is nice. Damn lead. Trade relationship with Sweden. So I don't what's the what's the benefit of a trade of a of getting like a trade agreement with a with a nation? Because surely you would want because you lose tariffs if you have a trade agreement, right? And surely tariff that's a good thing. It doesn't cost you bureau um bureaucracy though, but that's easy enough to gain. So what's the benefit? You get better, you get higher amounts, higher trade amounts? What's the benefit? We are managing to increase relations. Oh, here we go. Increase relations. Oh, with Spain. Didn't realize. Tell me, tell me why. Why are we doing this? Diplomatic actions, common for certain diplomatic packs require a certain level of relation. Or best to secure uh for sure you men you maintain them. <clears throat> relations that naturally decay towards neutral over time. Right. Okay. Oh when I'm when I'm can I have multiple relation improvements? We oh, must be neighbours with Spain or have the same strategic interests or, or have interest in the same strategic regions. Ah. Well. What are your interests? Your interests in Iberia. So if I change my interest, we had it up in Denmark, didn't we? But let's change it down here. Change to Iberia, then I can go and improve relations. We've got to wait for it to disappear, have we? And then to establish in Iberia. Get more of the same money. Lose tariffs, but it's easy to trade and you can benefit for your wherever your production result in more work and more money for your people be since you Okay. Propose all. Oh, Britain wants me to join enter their customs union. Shall, shall we shall we do this? No, no jokes, please, yeah. Shall we shall we join the customs union? It's becoming, it's this, it's hitting home a bit too hard, this. Um... <laughs> it's a huge market, yeah. So, when we're part of their market, what, it's all the prices are dictated by theirs, though, right? Yeah, we come subject to their market prices, which are dictated by, by Britain's demands and needs, right? I mean, we've got enough trouble, we've got, 
enough trouble with things. I mean, I, I feel like we've we've specced our industry and buildings based off of based off of our our needs and demands, which are a little a fair bit different to Britain, which is massive. The UK has a big war; it can destroy your market access and really hurt you if you're in a war. How do I how do I get out of it? <laughs> can I I break off with that? That'll really piss them off, though, won't it? Uh, 